Hi, this is Jay Haskamp, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going to look at the process of copying and offsetting objects in Trimble Business Center 3.5. Let's take a look at how this is done. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in this project is uh, fix an issue that we have with a missing building pad. You can see right down in this area here, we're missing one of our building pads. So we're going to basically copy um, one of these objects to to fill in the missing information. So you can see there should be six. Uh, notice that there are only five. So um, basically we can just use a simple uh, um, edit or copy tool uh, to fit this pad in here. So first to do this we're going to go to the edit tab up on top and under transform we're going to choose copy. Now in the copy um, objects pane, the first thing we need to do is select which object we want to copy. So being that we can see these are parallel and these are parallel, uh, we're making the assumption that this is parallel as well. So we're going to select that object. Um, relayer copied objects, we can leave that unchecked. That would just be to um, take this object and put it on a different layer. But in this, uh, in this uh, example, we want to just keep it on the same layer. So we're going to pick apply. Now notice when we pick apply, we see the move objects command um, pane show up. And what we want to do is we want to specify uh, where to copy this uh, from and to. So the easy way to do this is pick in the from box. What we're going to do is we're going to use the from and the to uh, boxes here and then reference these two existing pads to specify where we want to copy our, our new pad. So we're going to choose the from box and if I hit the shift key on my keyboard and right click, notice I have all of my snap menus that pop up and I can choose end snap and I'm going to select the corner down there and then I'm going to pick two and again shift, right click, pick end snap and choose the snap for that particular box. Now all I have to do is hit apply and now you can see that my building pad has now been copied to its new location. If that looks good I can go ahead and pick close and now I've filled in the missing information there. Uh, the next uh, tool that I can show you is how to um, offset a line in here. So if we look closely at this uh, particular project here, if I zoom in, you can see we have a double line here, but it's basically like a um, edge of bituminous, or some people call it an apron line, and then a flow line, but we're missing the, um, the back of curb line. So we want to offset this uh, flow line to get our back of curb. So an easy way to do this is to select our flow line, and then under the Edit tab, under lines, we can specify offset line. First thing we need to do is basically, I, I had it selected, but we'll do it again, specify the line to offset. So if you just make that box active, we can choose that back of curb line. Notice it doesn't automatically populate a name. Depending upon the drawing, it may or may not do that, but we're going to call this um, back of curb because that's what we're creating. And then under layer, we want to put this on a specific layer. One trick in here is if I want to put this on the same layer as that flow line, I can just hit the layer pull down and then over, over in the screen here, just pick that line and notice it populates the roads layer. So it's going to put our, our offset, our back of curb line on the same, the same specified layer. The offset distance, we can either um, pick on the screen either side of the line. You can see it kind of have this little leader line. Uh, for this, I know I just want to offset it one foot. And then also the side to offset, we can choose left or right, but maybe we don't know which direction the line is going, so we don't know which um, direction to choose. So again, I'm just going to choose on the screen because I know I want to offset this way. And when I choose that, notice it sets it to right. Vertical offset, I'm just going to leave the same for this particular case because this is just a 2D drawing, so I really don't kind of care what, what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to hit Apply. And notice now when I hit apply, it creates my line string for the back of curb at my specified offset. And that concludes our tech talk on copying and offsetting objects in Trimble Business Center. Hope that you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.